All right, welcome everybody out tonight. We are talking about energy balancing, energy healing, clearing emotional energy, all those words mix up however you want to. And here's the lovely Jade Baldwin to talk about that. And um, thank you. This course. Well, welcome everyone. Um, I have always wanted to to do energy healing with people because I feel like it's very profound. If we're ill in any way, um, we we need to understand that that is a, uh, an opportunity for us to change. Um, and if we just clear and clear things um, without the understanding that uh, it will, this is a lesson for us to become more um, like the divine, then the healing is not permanent. And the other thing I found really frustrating was that um, a lot of gurus make it very complicated. And, um, you know, it made them look special and talented and gifted, but it made everyone else feel like they're not special and they're not that gifted and they must spend a lot of years um, somehow to be more enlightened. Um, so in my heart, I feel like if there's a loving God, then he would make it accessible to all his children and make it easy enough for them to learn and understand uh, so when I felt, you know, I understood that I used my skills to help people and I just wanted to teach me and I taught a lot of people, but I couldn't uh, scale myself to the point where it, everybody else can have access and um, be able to have that, that skill too, without me having to spend more time with each person. And, you know, just like the Abu Vitae, Abu Vitae oil, um, it's about trusting in the divine and making room for miracles. Here I am wrecking my brains thinking, how do I do this? How do I do this? But it wasn't how do I do this? It's this is what I want and allowing the universe to, to work its way. Um, and of course, you know, Ben here, he's very gifted in technology. And he says, well, I'll figure that one out. And I thought, okay, well, I'll leave it to you. All I'm uh, responsible for is the content. So, you know, we worked really well together and um, this happened really quickly, actually, because I'm thinking, how do I do this? And I've taken months and months and it got really frustrating for me and I felt really rebuked, like, let go, do it already. I'm thinking, what do you mean? I don't know how to put it out there and do it. So here is energy balancing with faith. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Um, so you can click on there and then the first video. It's so um, I'll show everybody how yep. they, they can get there. So there's uh, this thing on the sidebar. You can let it click there. Yep. Or um, under an energy healing, you can yep. click on learn energy healing. Yep. Or you can search for it. So lots so, of ways to get here. Yep. So that tells you a little bit about the course, and there's a lovely Jade. Probably froze her in the wrong pose there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and yep. Yeah. Just click through to get more information. And actually, the first lesson is free, so everybody can get in there. And, mm -hmm. and it's it's all turned on right now, so you can get in there. Yep. And so it's watch launched, that. and um, it's in beta version because everything starts. Still um, putting stuff. Yeah, uh, and we still need lots of feedback, so it's very um, affordable and inexpensive. What did Debbie Westcott say? It's accessible. Mm -hmm. Yep, now. And uh, yeah, so we do an overview to help people have a, an idea and that's what we'll do tonight. Um, and then explain what energy is for the people who are uh, starting from the beginning. Um, what is, why is energy balancing important? Teaching you about muscle testing, intuition, and all of these expand out so that you can read. And we'll have a little video and quizzes. Um, and I, I would like to warn you that Ben did the quizzes. So he had a great <laughs> course. So it's enjoyable, is what she's saying. <laughs> it's a multiple as well choice. As in, <laughs> entertaining and yeah. educational. Yeah. Edutainment. So, That's what I'm about. Yeah. So if you have <laughs> reference to the Princess Bride and all these things in your answers, you know um, where that came from. Just don't choose the answer that refers to chocolate all the time. 
<laughs> yeah, that's one of the answers sometimes. Um, so we talk about clearing symbols. All of these is a, a, these things are found, fundamental foundations of what you need to understand. And then we'll go into the steps. And there's really ten steps. That's really that's it. Okay. Um, and then we have um, putting it all together, giving you examples of how to apply it in all of these very common ways. Um, so one of it, one of them is gut and arthritis. We have weight and self love. Uh, career and finances and love and relationships um, and then just a, a little bit of more of a recap okay so and then that's it uh -huh. that's and if you want to watch and rewatch and take notes it's up to you yeah. okay yeah so it's not like one time and then it's like wait I forgot can I go back <laughs> um, and you can start at any time yeah um, and each each uh, you have to finish one lesson before you start the next. Uh -huh. Yeah, it builds upon each other. Yeah. So right now the price is um, the actual price is two forty nine, but now it's ninety nine dollars, and you get a free one hour energy healing session with me. So it's a good deal right now. Okay. Any questions? Any questions on that? Okay. Alrighty. So we need to have uh, a note pad out honey so okay. i can type and um why don't we work on debbie gordon is that okay okay so i'll i'll show you okay, how I'll this works yes and we'll start typing so i'll make notes and then we'll text it to you do i need to make notes jade oh, i will i will it's okay okay all right so Ben, is that something we can share? Or oh, big screen? Okay. I will share that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Because I'd like them to see the different. So we'll be going back and forth. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, Debbie. So first of all, we connect to God through prayer. Um, so we can say a short, quick prayer, if that's okay with you. Absolutely. Yep. Father in heaven, we're so grateful to be here. We ask you to bless us that we may help Debbie. Um, bless us with angels and um, with wisdom and knowledge in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. So I'm using my muscles here and tapping into Debbie. So I say, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Now it's strong and so we're connected. Okay, is that easy enough? Okay. Um, because Debbie says, you help me. She's uh, given me her permission. Permission. Obviously, yep. Uh, so the first thing we did it already on the energy balancing chart. So check. You see that? Okay. So that's done. Check. The second thing is we can ask for, um, you know, if there are evil spirits, entities, or curses. Uh, because when Jesus went out to heal people, that's one of the first things he did. Um, it's sort of sort of like switching on this light switch and, um, you know, clearing away all the garbage quickly uh, so without having to light the candle, um, you know, a small candle at a time because it will take forever to clean the house, if you, you know, if it's dark. Um, so this is one way to quickly get rid of a whole bunch of things without us necessarily needing to know. Okay, and also the... Um, entities, evil spirits, they mess with our muscle testing and uh, what the work we're trying to do. So, yes, for evil spirits, nope. Uh, it's hidden ones, nope. Entities, nope. Curses, nope. So, we're all clear on that. Okay, check that. All right. Um, the very next thing we want to do is check to see how open your heart is. Because when we um, have a closed heart, you've, you've met people where they have heart walls and you want to talk to them and be friends with them, but you can feel there's a big block. You think, knock, 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 let me in. But it's like, nope, nope, nope. And they're hiding behind a facade. So we always ask, because if they don't allow us in, all of this healing would do them no good because they don't allow it, you see? And so that was one of the very first things I learned, um, you know, with, with God's help, I think. Uh, because I see people and I think, I really want to help you, but something's stopping my utterance. You know, saying, Jade, don't bother because it's a waste of time. 
So we can say how any heart walls from here? No. So no heart walls, that's good because when your heart is open, okay, you're able to receive, receive love. I understand people have heart walls to protect themselves, okay, but when you're stopping, you know, good, bad stuff coming in, you're also stopping good stuff. Yeah. So it's sort of like people on antidepressants, they don't want to be sad, but then they don't get to be happy either, okay. So uh, any hidden heart walls? So you're wide open, Debbie. <laughs> Um, and then the next one. That's why she's so lovable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next one is surrender your will. <clears throat> so this is an interesting one because it's about the heart too. Okay. So now, of course, the, the window's open, but are you willing to offer that heart? <laughs> so that's another aspect that I've realized. Um, so we can test percentages. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100%, yay! Good. That's really good. I, sometimes I test people and it's 30%, it's 40%, and then we keep working until it gets to 100. All right, so that's good. Now, why don't you share with us one current concern that we want to work on? So number four. I'm working with teenagers and it's a new ball game for me. <laughs> and so I'm out of my comfort zone. And I want to facilitate their growth and relinquish my control. Uh -huh. But lead them and guide them on the right path still because they're, they're falling. They're, they, they've let go, a couple of them, of the iron rod. And so I want, to, mm -hmm. I want to let go of my control but still guide them. Yeah, have that balance. Yeah, I see. Can you guys see that note? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. No. Do you yeah. Well, I'll type it up. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll type up um, teenagers. And um, so can I have the notes back, please? Yep, teenagers. And you're saying you need more wisdom, right? Wisdom. Um, for to discern, right? Okay. All right. So that's that's the current concern. We need to write it down. Um, then we can focus on just taking care of that one thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, um, anything else, Debbie? That's the main thing, yes. Yeah. I. You know what? I'm surprised that. I tested 100% for the last one on submitting my will to God. Mm -hmm. um, I've been working on that, honestly. I didn't think I was 100% by any means. <laughs> no, that's really important because sometimes yeah. you have the, the will and then you, don't, you, don't, you feel like maybe I'm still not adequate, but you, know, you are. You know, you know, as you talked about Arborvitae, um, I want that. I want that emotional an energetic benefit, 100%. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so being able to, to not, even, even, even your talk of working harder, you know how to do it? that's just me, okay? I wanna to go to bed at 10.30 at night and wake up at 5.30 in the morning knowing I've done all I can do and turning it over to God. Mm -hmm. And then trusting that, that, that the um, abundance will flow. Mm -hmm. And letting go of feeling like I have to work really hard. So that's one thing I'm carrying through from my familial upbringing is that I have to work really hard in order to have abundant, abundance. Mm -hmm. And I so want to let that go. Yep. I, I want to work smarter, mm -hmm. but you know what? I'm taking off to Arizona tomorrow. And honestly, I just want to let people flow to me rather than feeling like I have to finish off the week or the month. Mm -hmm. okay. Yep. Yep. I know what you mean. Yep. And it, uh, it stops the abundance, doesn't it? It does stop the abundance. Yep. Okay, so we have identified our current concern. Um, so the next thing on our list here is to um, just check your literal language of your body because it gives us more clues as to what to do. So with the energy healing, we're not brain, um, what is it, reading people's brains and, and, and thought, you know, none, none of that, because people get scared and think, oh, this is witchcraft, or no, it's just um, connecting to each other, really helping, um, you know, point out where they can go for the next development. So, sort of like being a messenger or a 
a servant. Or an investigator. Mm -hmm. You look at uh, clues that your body's yeah. leaving behind mm -hmm. and, and be a sore neck because your body's trying to tell you a, you're a pain in the neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's not looking at things in a, in a different way, that's all. So, Debbie, scan through your body. See where, where you're, just, you're uncomfortable, if you have any discomfort somewhere. In my, my back. <laughs> mm -hmm. To be honest with you, it's over my adrenals. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's write that down. Mm. Yeah, just really tired. Yeah. Okay. And let's write that down. And so I keep adjusting positions because I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lower back and adrenals. Okay, excellent. And do you guys have the... Uh, Feelings Married Alive, Never Die book. Right, if you do, you can have a look at that. I'll grab it. Okay. So what I do now is I go to this book and I ask a muscle test, do I look at lower back? So strong from yes. Yep, I look at lower back. And then do I look at adrenals too? Strong from yes? No. Okay, so I'm going to go to lower back. So if you so go you to, want to show back. everybody what book it is? Or uh -huh. I'll pull it up on this other screen. Yeah, thank you. Okay, I'll pull it up on this other screen. So this screen. is alphabetical. I'll just go to back here. Yeah. So back, upper back, middle back, and lower back. So there's five options there. And so I'll muscle test the options. This is the first one, the second one, the third one. Here, yeah. the third one is... It says, wanting to back out of something. Okay. Yep, so let's write that down. Debbie, you're smiling. <laughs> I'm going to Arizona for a wedding tomorrow. It's really hot. I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> I love Arizona this time of year. You're like, you got me. Okay, I'll say that, Dan. I love Arizona this <laughs> It's especially humid right now, too, so you're going to love it. <laughs> humid in Arizona. But it's sort of like uncomfortable. Um, you're feeling like you might be more uncomfortable. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so to you... Well, I'm going by myself, Jade. My husband cannot go with us. There you go. So to you, what does it mean, um, backing out of something? Backing out of something. Um, I don't do that very often. Mm -mm. If yep. I make a commitment, it's, it's on. Mm -hmm. I go through with it even though it's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, your, your subconscious says, I wish I could, but I'm not going to. It's That's difficult. Correct. That's correct. The, That's the exactly key is it's difficult. Yeah. So, you know, like a bull, I'm going to plow forward, you know, it's, but it's difficult and I know it and I'll have to do it anyways. I have to do hard things. Okay. And so what happens when we do hard and heavy and difficult things? What well, has to do with your back? It's a heavy load, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, heavy load for your back, back breaking. Yeah, back breaking work. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get that? Yeah. It's why do you think it's back breaking? All my boys are out late tonight and I'm going to be doing the driving. And I'd really rather take a nap. <laughs> mm -hmm. No. If you think about Abba Vite, um, what it's telling you is. Because you, know, you mentioned Arva Vitae, it's strong for you. That's the word you need. Um, what does it teach you? What does Arva Vitae teach me? About and that's Arva Vitae. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it teach me? Um, I loved your um, analogy of it being a very strong tree standing alone on its own. Mm -hmm. um, without 
without concern, with ease. That's the with word. With ease. ease. Yeah, with ease. Yep. Um, so for me, uh, looking at other vitae and vitae, um, and uh, they're feeling like your back is going to break, it's telling you to share the load. Yeah, share the load with God and the divine. Okay, so your, oops, where are we? There we are. Your new um, enlightened belief is. I share the load. Okay. So that's, that. that's, really good. that's your affirmation. You have mm -hmm. to say it when you click your heels together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, the next thing on here is resolving emotions and essential oils. So the next two steps, essential oils or emotions. And the step five and six and seven, it's, it will go back and forth, back and forth. Um, because we'll have one emotion or one problem um, that has several uh, oils. Okay, so five, six, and seven, um, we'll just go back and forth in that. Okay, so now we'll go to the oils of a vete, and you have all the negative here and the positive. So I'll ask, do we look at the negative emotions? Nope, we looked at about the positive. So the positive, um, which one is it? It's about trusting in divine grace. Okay, so that's like sharing the load, isn't it? Absolutely. Why don't we... So, for everybody, you guys probably you. know, but... So, she's looking this up in a book called Emotions and Essential Oils. For those of you who are listening, because it's being recorded for later. Mm -hmm. And Arbor Vitae. <laughs> yep, so we're going to do this all night. Uh, <laughs> vitae says, um, so we, we share the load, I share the load. I trust in the divine grace. And now I'm going to test how long we need it for. Um, one, two, three days, weeks, for three weeks. And don't use it longer than three weeks. Because after three weeks, um, you know, if it goes beyond that, it actually becomes sort of a vice. Because it tells you that, hey, I'm not smart enough. I'm, not, I'm too thick. I don't get it. I still need it for a longer time. But after three weeks, if you take that affirmation um, off, you know, your bathroom mirror, it says, hey, you got it. You got it. I'm confident. I can chuck it out and um, throw out this paper because it's in here, right? Um, so it gives you that confidence. So what do we do with it? Uh, you ask, we'll ask, do we smell it? Do we rub it on? And the answer is rubbing it on. Okay, three weeks. Rub on. Um, and we can say on our tummy because I'm just guessing on the bottom of the feet and it's on the bottom of your feet. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on the bottom of your feet. And now I can ask how many drops? One, two. Two drops how many times a day? Once, twice a day. So two drops twice a day. And Debbie, you already know how to use oil so you can dilute it and rub it all over because two drops will cover a small part of your feet and you want the whole feet. Um, so that covers your whole body really, isn't it? Yep, so for three weeks in the morning, you rub it on and you say, I share the, the load and I trust in divine grace. And because it's on your feet, it's interesting because it teaches us something. What do you think it teaches us? Walk by faith, maybe. <laughs> yep, walk in faith. faith. I love it, walk in faith. I walk in faith. Yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm, yep. And that's it for three weeks. That's good. All right, so anything else about other body day? Yes? No. Okay, anything else about the back? Okay, awesome. <clears throat> Do we look at um, adrenals now? Yes? No. So it's not the adrenals. Okay, yeah. you're tired because you feel like you have to rely on just you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. And it seems that... This is your answer anyways. So when you, you will know how much to hold on to, how much to let go, what to say, what not to say. Um, and that will guide you and give you the wisdom that you need. Yeah. And if you want to teach your kids um, to be more spiritual, because you said, you know, they've left the, the path, what greater way can you teach them than by, you know, giving them a good example? Because if we don't trust God, and here we are telling them to trust God. That doesn't make sense. 
Very good. Yep. Okay, so let's go back to this chart here. Yep. Okay, so we've done the fifth and the sixth and the seventh. Okay. Uh, so do we need to do some childhood regression shopping? Yes. And the answer is yes. Are you comfortable with us going to your childhood? <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. I, am. I need to do this on to help. Okay. So prior to, prior to conception, conception to birth, birth to 10 to 20, 10, 11, 12, 12. Okay. So let's type in here, 12 years old. So, and so 12 years old. And when we say 12 years old, it could be 12 turning 13 or 11 turning 12. Okay, so around that age, do you know, can you remember, can you see where you are? Yeah. Um I actually had what they thought was appendicitis, which was an ovar but, but it was an ovar ovarian cyst just before I turned 13 years old. Okay, so was it an ovarian cyst? It was an ovarian cyst. Uh huh. Okay, strong for ovarian cyst. I my life with that surgery. Okay. So is and they didn't take the appendix out, but they found a very large grapefruit size ovarian cyst. Oh, so is it, does it have to do with a cyst strong for yes? No. Um, does it have to do with being sick at 12? Yes, no. No, something else? It to do with, um, the doctor left six open bleeders and I hemorrhaged. So and it set me up for scar tissue and adhesions, which really dampened my fertility. That's strong for that. Yeah, that's it. That part where someone, you know, did something. didn't take care of you you know didn't take care of you the way you, you he ought to have okay okay so what do we say uh, doctor um, was negligent <laughs> <laughs> yep he okay. rushed through the surgery and, and left town oh okay but this 12 year old girl she adopted a new um, belief at that time. Mm -hmm. So uh, the belief could be something like not safe in the world. Okay. Or, you know, not protected somehow. Okay. So what do you think um, it was? Do you have an idea? If not, we'll go to this chart here. I'm not sure um, mm -hmm. because really, truly, I felt like my life had been spared. Okay. My life was not done yet or my work was not done. Okay. So you had a glimmer of, you know, your divine, um, I think, path, but then your divine path is painful perhaps? I don't know. So let's ask. Um, so is this in the fear column? Faith column. Okay, the first column, the second column. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so it's about protected. So when it's in the faith column, it's you need to, it's a positive emotion that you need to develop more. We'll put that down. So Let's I need to. I explain just a little bit on how I need to develop protected. So what did, uh, what does Abba Vitae do for us? It protects you from environmental threats, threats from the outside. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. So things that happen on the outside to you, your family. Okay. And so it may be like you know, a naughty teenager, right? It affects you, it causes you a lot of pain, but does it have to be? Yeah, so that's the question. Sometimes I'm protected, I'm happy with me, of course. My happiness is not, you know, relying um, or attached to them doing a certain thing. Sometimes being unattached is healthy for you and them, helps them feel less pressure. 
Yep. So we're feeling protected. So this is your 12 year old self. Another emotion to look at, strong for yes. Um, fear side, face side again. First column, second column. First half, second half. Uh, the next one is surrender. Okay. So to you, what does that mean? I had an interesting thought when you said that, and it was, it's okay to surrender to God, but it's not okay to surrender to my teenager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about we sur you surrender these teenagers to God? Okay. All right. I like that. That sounds really good. Okay. I, and I've done that with one. I, I seriously had to say, you got to take him, Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and you do what your part, and then he will guide you and lead you as to what to do each day but you know you're you're not only responsible for him you know god is responsible for him too yeah okay so Thank you. that really that really hit home mm -hmm. so is that all anything else in the emotions yep it's that's it okay so we need to go back to your 12 year old self though Okay, because that 12 year old girl is inside feeling like i'm the mom and i don't know what i'm supposed to do um, I don't think, I don't know how to surrender or protect. So um, if you could close your eyes and um, imagine yourself facing that girl. Is she lying in bed? Where is she now? She's actually on a twist bicycle. <laughs> okay. So you're there. Keep your eyes shut. And can you tell her what she needs to know from, you know, a wiser person in the future you've come back and you've, you're telling her some good wise information say debbie should i should i address myself uh-huh say debbie debbie you can do this letting go and it will be easier mm -hmm. something about protected and something about surrender so interesting i'm on this twist bicycle i don't know if you know what i'm talking about but my dad was walking beside me okay that's a good that's a good picture actually it's like god walking beside you too right yeah mm -hmm. so what do you tell her I'm not sure of the word. But I, have, I have sought my father's assistance. Mm -hmm. That's right. Dad is my, here. Your dad's here to protect you. Just let go. If you fall, that's okay. You, it's not going to be bad. And I didn't. That's the interesting picture that's coming and I didn't. Yeah. I didn't fall in this very strange bicycle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you know exactly what words she needs to hear. It's about trust. Mm -hmm. There's not a phrase that really comes to mind. It's more of a feeling. Yep. More of an emotion. Yep. And it's just let go and trust. Yep. That's it. You can say And he's by my side. Yep. Beautiful. Excellent. That's, yep. It's testing strong now. The 12 year old girl, she's feeling strong. That's good. Take a deep breath in and release. Okay. So at that time, um, you know, you, you had a little smidgen of feeling protected, but now you can develop that protection even more. Okay. So what was that last sentence you said? 
Um, <clears throat> that he was talking beside me. Yep. So, your dad. Yeah, and it could be my my father in heaven. It yeah. could be my earthly yep. father. Okay. So why don't we say, Father is walking beside you. Father is walking beside you. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, right? Okay. Awesome. Well done, Debbie. Thank you. So step nine is about um, the creating enlightened beliefs. And that's our enlightened belief. It's a new belief. Because I know the word affirmation is kind of funny. Um, it's overused sometimes. So I'd like people to understand it's a right belief because it's a new um, thinking pattern that you are adopting or you will adopt, you know, within the next few weeks. Okay. Um, and we can test, do we need other, um, to create other beliefs? Strongly? Yes? No. Okay. Uh, so step 10 is record gratitude for the perfection. Okay. So even though this is a very difficult time in your life, if you don't see the perfection in it, unfortunately, you will see it again and again and again. But it's going to be bigger and uglier <laughs> every time because it's like, wait, you didn't get the message the first time. Let me make it more clear. Um, <laughs> is that so? I felt. <laughs> uh -huh. like, wait a second. I see it again. It's like, I'm not willing to do this again. And oh my goodness, here it is, bigger and yeah. stronger. <laughs> so you want, we want to not only resolve something, but have um, gratitude for it. Okay. And I know a lot of people will fight me and they're like, well, how can I find goodness in this? And I said, look, it's not me. You know, God allowed this to happen. So there must be some wisdom in it. Um, so now things that it looks like it's loose thread, I'll be super happy if everyone is so good and all, you know, everything's proper. So can you see um, something that you can be grateful for? Yeah. Um, I, I believe it's the purification process of learning how to love unconditionally. Yes, exactly. Okay. So... I am learning to love like Jesus. Yeah. 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 You know, even if they hurt you, you're loving them just like Jesus. And what's the other thing? Um, I can change. Mm -hmm. um, and not be so rigid. Mm hmm I can, I, I can allow them their agency. Um, uh -huh. but that, that, to say that out loud really actually kind of stings. Help me think. Yeah. So help me with that because that stings. I'm not sure I can repeat that over and over and over yet. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So there's some things that came up just now. Okay, so we can go to the faith chart. Fear faith chart. Fear just came up. Fear of losing them just came up. Uh-huh. Okay, is that fear there? So fear, fear of losing them. Okay. So this fear, let's write that down. Okay, because this fear is strong, I feel that. Okay, fear of Jade, I worked really hard to get my boys here. <laughs> I understand, Debbie. I feel it. Okay. Your stuff, father, side, mother, side, mother, herself goes beyond mum. So, so this is inherited from mum. Okay. So you have you seen this in mum? Mum really trying hard to keep all the kids together, to keep them on the right path. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're helping her clear this to resolve this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we clear this now strong for yes, no. So when it, the answer is no, we just have 
to kind of dig into it and dig into our understanding a little bit and, and then see if we can resolve it. Okay. Um, do we need an oil to help us? Yes? No. Okay. So with the understanding that I had, um, when you said that, I felt that, you know, and I heard a, the saying in my mind, it says, there is time. There is time. So um, I had this experience too, um, obviously not with my kids yet, but, um, but that was the answer for me. So when you mentioned that, I just felt like there is time because we're so scared. And time in our uh, measurement is, um, is an illusion, really, because there's time later on too. And you, you never know how instantaneous people change. Um, so the answer is time. Okay. Now I'm going to test to see if that was something that we needed. Strong for yes. Is there anything else we need? Okay. Even though we have that whispering of, I'm fearing that I, I'm losing them. Um, if we entertain fear, then um, that's what we get. So if someone says, well, I'm worried that you mess up, Debbie. I'm so worried that you mess up. And we keep repeating that. What are you going to hear? You're going to mess up. Mm -hmm. So look, I have faith. I know you'll figure it out. It may hurt. Sometimes we choose to hurt ourselves or choose a hard way, but that's your choice. This is a really easy way here, but it's okay. That's what the atonement of Christ is for. It's a healing balm. Okay, so can we clear the inherited from mom fearing that she might lose um, her children? Yes, okay. And remember earlier we said that it's, they're not all your responsibility. Somehow something will happen. Yep. So we can clear that now. So we click here on remove. So, okay. So take a deep breath in and release. Okay. And add strong. Okay. Good. Alrighty. So what other things you can be grateful for? You know, because we're recording the grati gratitude for the perfection. Um, my 18 year old moved out and um, the family he moved in with is also LDS, but so they share our faith, but they really felt like they were supposed to take him in. So I felt like there was divine intervention in mm -hmm. that coming about. Mm -hmm. And so even though I haven't really worked through the emotions of that yet, honestly, I've had visitor after visitor after visitor taking up his empty room, uh -huh. which is interesting. And it's not going to empty anytime soon. I've still got more visitors coming. Mm -hmm. And so the empty room that he left behind is not empty. Uh -huh. so and it's filled with people who love me and who appreciate yeah all that i do so you've opened a space in your mind in your, your house and your heart yeah right, for you to be to do god's work cool. yeah but i'm sure that these people have children they and do. experiences like you yeah yeah and with your, your experience and your knowledge, um, you can sucker them. And likewise, they sucker me. And there, there you go. Mm -hmm. And that we heal each other. Yeah. And it's a synchronicity about it. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing is just to receive God's love. And as you look around you, you see the perfection of how things worked, um, you, you'll feel that flood of love that he's been there all this time for you. Okay. Uh, so for you, you can write things, um, you know, in your journal, so you can add to this, but I, I'd suggest something like, I um, receive God's 
God's love for me. Okay. All right. Anything else for Debbie? Yes, no. So that's it for you, Debbie. We'll text you. And email this. How do you yeah. feel? Is that easy? You know what? Honestly, honestly, the back discomfort and fatigue is gone. It's completely fine. Yay. <laughs> that's so wonderful. So can you see yourself doing this, Debbie? Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate this. Yeah. Yep. Awesome. So we have a few more minutes. Who was it that volunteered? Who else was it? Is it Marissa? Marissa. Yeah. Marissa, would you, you still want to do it? Sure. Okay. Unless, unless Tom wants to. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Potter him on the spot. <laughs> okay. So we'll get another note out here. Okay. Yep. So. Okay. Here we go, Marissa. So we'll say a quick prayer, Marissa, if that's okay with you. Okay. Father in heaven, we're so grateful to be here and to help Marissa. We ask you, Father, to help us, bless us with angels and wisdom and knowledge and light. And we say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay, there. And Marissa. Okay. There we go. So the first thing on our list is to dispel evil spirits, entities, and curses. Um, yes, for any of those. Nope. Okay, good. So open hearted. Yes. Okay. Um, do we have any heart walls? Mm -mm. Do we have any hidden heart walls? Nope. So that's good, Marissa. So no heart walls. Oh, is she able to see this or we? Or she this? Sorry, Ben. He has to go back and forth. Okay. So no heart walls. Strong. Yes. Okay. How about um, hidden heart walls? Nope. Okay. So surrendering will. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 percent. Okay, 80 percent. Um, okay, so in this case, we quickly go to the emotions. Um, so we can say is there an emotion that we need to clear to help with this? Strong for yes, no. Um, so can we go to the oil chart, please? Yep, can you guys see this? Yeah, okay. So I'll just ask, is it in column A, column B? Is column B, is it in row one, row two, row three? And the first oil and the second oil. Okay, Marissa, it's Rose. Cool. Do you have I've been using that like every day? That's funny. Pardon? As I've been using that almost every day. That's funny. Okay. That's good. So you know intuitively to use that oil. Rose oil. Okay. So we'll look at rose oil. We'll look at the negative emotion. Um, do we need to look at that? Yes, no. So we need to look at the positive. Yep. Mm, and accepted. So it's about receiving, receiving, feeling accepted. Okay. All right. What does that mean to you when I say accepted? Um. I've been struggling a little bit with my family and sharing the oils, to be honest. I feel like they haven't really accepted this side of my life, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've talked to my sister and my dad and a couple other people, and I feel like they see the changes in me, but they, maybe they're not ready to accept change in themselves. Uh-huh. Yep. And this is good because you can help heal for them. Um, because we're all linked together. 
right? Now, when we have a problem with people rejecting us or not fully accepting us, it's a good sign that we are not allowing ourselves to be fully accepted, right? So mm -hmm. it's testing strong and rose is the oil of divine love. Okay, so this here is, here is about not being able to be, feel like you're accepted by God. There's something maybe, um, you know, we, we, we deem ourselves a little bit unworthy of God's love. So um, we feel like we're not quite, you know, there for him to fully love like other people. Okay, so if obviously we, we sort of... Um, uh, what do you what do we call it um, broadcast that to the world okay and now is this yours no so originally it's not yours it's inherited and you'll see this in your family is it in, on your mom's side no nope. on your dad's side yes is dad himself yes no it goes beyond dad yes so this one so I'll write down inherited from dad Okay, so why don't I share this page with you? There we go. Okay, so um, so not feeling like you can be fully accepted by God, not fully accepted. This is us, our false beliefs. That's all. Okay, not that God it doesn't accept you. It's just feeling like you know doesn't love you as much as other people. Perhaps not as worthy okay inherited from dad does it go beyond dad yes no. okay so this is inherited from your dad can you see how he does things that make you feel like you know you kind of repel him a bit i don't really know my birth dad that well to be honest with you like if you're talking about birth dads it's hard for me because he didn't raise me yeah but the other thing is you can look at your siblings. Do, do they do things um, that make people not like them as much? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, they both do. I mean, my birth dad does that as well. I just don't know him as closely as I know my siblings, I guess you would say. But yeah, I would say that a couple of them do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, even if we don't want to, something about us kind of make people go, no, no, I like you, but not that much. <laughs> Because we haven't, we don't fully love ourselves that much either. Okay, so we can clear this now, strong for yes. Okay, we can clear it. I don't know why. Take a deep breath in and release. <sighs> okay, that feels strong. Guys, any of you have questions, you can ask, okay? Um, so, you know, if I don't explain anything well, um, you can ask, say, hey, Jay, pause, explain that part again. All right, because um, uh, these ladies are wonderful and they allow themselves to be vulnerable. Um, but, you know, it's also for your learning too. Okay. All right, so rose, we need to use once, twice a day. Are you using the rose oil lotion? Uh, no, I've been using my Immortelle, and then I have a non-doTERRA version of rose oil. I've been using. Uh, okay, let's think about that one. Yep, that's a good one for you. Um, from On the scale of 0 to 10, 0 being lousy, 10 being great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 9. Okay, it's 9 out of 10 good, so it's still good. That's fine. Um, now... That one rose oil, think about that. You got it in your mind? Okay, so one, two, three drops. Once, twice, three times a day. Yep. For how long? One, two, three. So three days, three weeks. Okay. For three weeks. Okay. So do we smell it? Do we rub it on? Rub it on over our hearts, rub it on our tummies, rub it on our feet. And anywhere else? Nope. So rub on your feet. Okay. <laughs> Three times a day. I guess you have to take your shoes off. <laughs> okay. Put a little alarm on. <laughs> 
My feet are smell good. I don't know. But I guess, what does that mean to you? Putting it on your feet and about being accepted. Um, you know, you think about like the reflex chart, it might be going to the heart and the brain, you know, to set it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, a little bit more. Uh, you know how Debbie Gordon was saying she's walking forward with faith. What, a, what does that mean to you? Feet, acceptance of God's love. So you could be walking away from the, the negative feelings and, and going forward, making progress towards those positive emotions and helping the relatives to shed that as well. Mm -hmm. So let's simplify that. How about we, I walk forward. Um, towards God's love. Or something along that line. Um, and we need to put something about fully accepting yourself in there. Okay? So if we do our present tense affirmation, um, I am fully, um, well, I fully accept myself. I fully accept myself. How does that feel? Can you say that? I walk forward towards God's love and I fully accept myself. It's good. How do you feel? It's good. I like it. Okay. Do we need another affirmation? Yes? No? Okay. Anything else? No? Okay. Can we test the surrendering your will? Yes? Okay. So it's more than 80%, more than 90%. Nope, one, two, eighty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Marissa, you're a numbers girl, so this is comes up as a funny number. So eighty nine percent. Okay. <laughs> Only Marissa. <laughs> okay, so let's find more emotions. Yes. Okay, so go over here for more emotions. Um, first column, second column, this one. And disconnected. Disconnected comes up for you. Okay. Disconnected from. Always we go back to the divine. Disconnected from the divine, strong for yes. Yes. So can you see a little theme happening here? To do with the heart. Okay, your father's side, father himself goes beyond dad. Yes, okay, this is inherited from dad. Does it go beyond dad? Yes, his dad, his mom. Goes beyond her. Okay, alrighty. So, what kind of disconnection do you feel? I'm not sure. All right. So let's get some more clues. Pardon? I was going to say maybe just like self-doubt that I let get in my way to my, you know, relationship with God. Mm -hmm. maybe that's something I'm constantly working on is that I am trying to do those little changes day by day, but I know that I'm in the back of my mind, like my true self admits that, I'm always doubting myself and my abilities. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I have a feeling that it's a disconnection to the divinity within. So I know it's, there's a part of God too, but there's a disconnection to the divinity within. So when I think that, when it comes to me, I test it. And if it's testing strong, I don't understand, but I'll just... So, you know, yep, I trust that. So, disconnection, um, disconnected to the divinity within. Because you know you have a purpose, you know you have a, a mission on earth, right? 
and some, you know, this really weird constant conflict inside. So can we clear this now? Yes, no. So when something's tricky and it won't let us clear, we'll go to um, the oils, okay? And we'll help with the energy of the oil. So we'll say, is it in column A? So how many oils first? One, two oils that we need for this. You got your oils handy? Always. <laughs> A, B, C, D. One, two. Lime, lime oil comes up. And what's the second oil? Column A, column B, A, column B. Row one, row two, row three, row four. Okay, so forgive and lime. Let's write that down. So I'm getting a picture now because of all the different oil uh, things that come up. It's sort of like having a difficult time, um, allowing yourself fully to enjoy life and to forgive yourself of, you know, past mistakes and things. Yeah, I could see that. I beat myself up a lot more than I should, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, so we turn to Lime in the emotions book. And it's a negative emotion. And it's about discouragement. Okay. Okay. And the next one is um, positive. No, that's it. So Lime is about zest for life. Um, so, of course, when we open our hearts up to God and fully surrender our will, we're opening ourselves to, like, full enjoyment of life. And for some reason, it's like, yeah, but <clears throat> I can't fully. There's a lady that I met on Saturday, and she's like, no, oh, too much fun for me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, where are you leaving? No, too much positivity. And... I don't know why, but some people like that insist on being vibrating at this level and this level only. All right, so let's see if this discouragement is from you. Yes. Okay, so prior to conception, conception of birth, birth to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight years old? Eight years old. Okay, can we clear it now? No. So think back when you were eight years old about something you don't have to tell us. If you if something comes to mind, if you say, yeah, I got something, situation that made me feel discouraged. I do have one that comes to mind, yeah. Yep. And <laughs> it's you, not, it probably sounds silly to a lot of people, but it, it, it's part of like what made me the way I am, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so whatever it is, it, it started a roll, snowball. Okay, so you thinking of it now? Okay, testing for that thing. It's, yep, it's that thing. Okay. Yep. So can we clear that now? Yes. Take a deep breath in and release discouragement from that experience. You're helping too, aren't you? I'm, I'm helping to release it. <laughs> We're all here. We're all here. <laughs> We're all here for you. <laughs> so let's look at the positive. Okay. And... This line helps you have a determination, determination to be happy, to have full life, okay? And, and not letting that discouragement take, take over you. That's wonderful. Okay, so smelling it, yes. One, two, three drops once, twice a day. One, two days, weeks. Okay. So three drops twice a day for two weeks and just smelling it. Okay, so um, one easy way that I do is just have it ready, stand in front of the mirror and smell it or rub it on yourself and smell it, put three drops in your palms and say, I'm determined to have a full life. Okay, do it in the mirror in the morning and before you go to bed 
and do that for three we uh, two weeks. And um, if you have an affirmation card, write the date that you're supposed to take that off, the mirror, okay? And just take it off. And by that time, trust that you have it inside of you already. Okay, we don't need to leave it on longer. Okay. And, and forgive. Let's go to forgive in the emotions book. Uh, okay, it's a renewing blend. Okay. It has never been one of my favorites. Really? It's this. I've been working with it, but it's not. A, uh -huh. not it's renewing. So it's allowing you to fully cleanse yourself and forgive yourself. Okay. And it's about blaming. Okay. Okay. Sometimes we blame bad health. Sometimes blame whatever it is for what's happening inside of us. But I have learned that it's, um, we choose it, okay? <clears throat> and blaming gives away our power. So let's see, is blaming originally from you? Nope, your stuff, father side, mother side, mother herself, because we're mom. Okay, so let's write that down. <clears throat> from mom. And does it go beyond her, um, her dad, her mom? Yep. <clears throat> So that's her mom. Does it go beyond her? No. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So can we clear this one now? Yeah. Sometimes we um, repeat our parents' thinking patterns because we're not conscious to choose different. As soon as we find it, your body say, hey, I get to choose different now. Okay. Take a deep breath in and release. Okay, that's strong. And so that's removed. Okay, let's go back here. Um, so I am determined. And, okay, so did we clear dis disconnected from divinity? Oh, no, we did it because we needed two oils to help us with that. Okay, and forgive. Do you want to smell forgive? We haven't finished here. Okay. Are, you, are you asking? Am I being yes. honest? <laughs> you have it there? Uh, it's on the counter. You want to go grab it? It's in my yes. case. Yes. I'd like you to smell it. Mm -hmm. So I am tolerant. So what I'm doing is um, I'm just testing the positive properties and seeing if we need that to help us create new affirmations, new thinking patterns, okay? So it says yes, and then tolerant comes up. So I just make, I am tolerant, <clears throat> okay? So tolerant of yourself, so even if you mess up, not a big deal, okay? You're not gonna beat yourself up like you usually do. You're very kind to yourself. One thing that helps me is, you know, if I see a little baby toddler and she's trying to walk and she falls on her bottom, you're not gonna scold her for not walking properly, right? So you can say, hey, get up, try again. That's all you need to do with yourself. Okay, how does it smell? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So say I am tolerant of myself. I am tolerant of myself. <laughs> All right, anything else about this oil? That's it. So we need it for one, two, three. So this is for three weeks. So this is a little bit more, um, you know, serious, deep. So give yourself about three weeks to make friends <laughs> with, with the forgive oil. Okay. So don't be, too hard on yourself if it's taking a bit longer than other oils. All right, let's go back here and see if we can clear the disconnected from divinity, the divinity within, the special person you are, you are inside. Okay, strong fingers. Okay, deep breath in and out. Thank you everyone for helping. <laughs> okay, okay. So now do we test the percentage? Yes, it's 100% strong fingers. Okay, so 100%, good. Okay. Alrighty. So 
did it cover a lot of things already, Marissa? Um, you know, looking at some of the discouragement, some of the things here, because I feel like taking care of the main things, opening your heart for God's love and healing, that takes away, wipes away a whole bunch of things already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And all the itty bitty little things that we could like muscle test for, it's, it's, it's cleared. Okay. So now um, we didn't ask you for your current concerns. But it seems that like we have, you know, some of the concerns really surfaced already mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. about um, not accepting yourself and not being open to abundance. Okay. So I would go to step 10 now and just start recording, um, you know, perfection of things. So record gratitude for the perfection. Um, sometimes we, we hold our breath and we think, I can't wait for us to be able to achieve all these things and get out of our current situation. Um, but more important than that for God is that we understand and learn something in this situation. Otherwise, we're extending this situation. Yeah? Always makes me think about the comfort thing. I've been uncomfortable for months, so I guess I'm doing all right. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't have to be all the way uncomfortable. You, you hear the, the heart says, I'm, you open up for love and for abundance, for, for sleep, for rest. Yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. so record the perfection, the good stuff. And in our minds, we think that we're uncomfortable um, but perhaps, you know, it could have been more uncomfortable somewhere, somehow. Oh, yeah, no, it's not a bad uncomfortable. It's not like a fearful uncomfortable. It's like a crab getting ready to molt its shell to get into a new shell uncomfortable. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. So can you see some um, good things from this situation in your mind? Yep, I think it's paving the way. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Just more progress. It's just going to be another step on the road to being closer to my Heavenly Father and being able to help, able to help more people. Yeah, yeah. To be able to, to love themselves yeah. too. Yeah, and suck them. Yeah, and love them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Because they'll have this heartache too. Yeah, awesome. Well, that's it. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Debbie, so much. Any other questions or comments or anyone? I have one question. She, while she gets used to the forgive or the renewing blend, I actually really like that, that, that name for her, the renewing blend. Could she add lime to it and breathe them both together mm -hmm. and make it much more pleasant? Yeah, that's why both of them came up together. That's good. Good insight. Mm. Yep. I love lime. Mm -hmm. Well, how about be renewing um, it to a more happy state of being, right? That's what we're renewing into. Yeah. Hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. You know, sometimes you look at it and you ponder more, more things will come up. I've had people texting me later on. Oh, I got that. I understand what that means now. Yeah, see that now. Whatever. Awesome. Right. So thank you so much, guys, for joining us and uh, volunteering. Yeah. Of course. So, um, anyone else want to ask anything before we end? No, nope, that's good. So, our course is up, it's beta for the next month. And then it goes up to its regular price in September. So thank you guys for this opportunity. Nate, I do have a question about your course. Yep. Um, right now I'm doing too many trainings. Uh -huh. But I, if I subscribe to it now, do I have as long as I want to go through it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, um, you have a whole year access, Debbie. Yeah, it gives you a year to finish it. Yeah. That should be long enough. And we have an option for lifetime access to Yeah, and you got friends, right? So you can help that <laughs> Thank way. Thank you. Now.
Beautiful work you're doing. I noticed that I just went dark, but it's because the lights went off. <laughs> We're really grateful, guys. Really thank grateful. You. Okay, thank you. Recording here. Yep, thank you. And